Good afternoon, the the character name, right? So, so I'm so I'm back with another video. So my imagination is here, right? So I call it to Laurie Whitmore from, from the Athletic, and 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 and, and Adam Crafter from the Athletic. But they are both saying that my to tell held face to face talks with 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 Marco Silva two days before the FA before the FA Cup final, and they also said they also said, and this was when Eric Tanaka but, but, but was telling the press was it the day before. Or a couple of days before that, he was planning for next season. They also went on to say that Thomas Tuchel, Roberto De Zerbi advanced, advanced to financial talks. They also said there was talks with Mauricio Pochettino as well, added with um, Thomas Tuchel and Roberto De Zerbi, of course. So also, they, 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 they both also said that um, the board considered, Manchester United board or Indios considered sacking. Eric Tanag after the 4-0 defeat to Crystal Palace last month. Um, oh, so much for else. The, 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 uh, the, the, they also said Lloyd Whitwell and um, and Adam Crafton. Oh, God, I need a tangle for this. God, so much to get through. I think, anyway. Um, so on May 14th, which was last Tuesday, so, so I'm sure his name was it Roger White? He's part of Inyar's. Sir Dave, Sir Dave Brailsford. Oh, who else? Ah, oh, Sir Jim Ratcliffe and J Jason Wilcox. They, they, they all decided to sack Eric Tanag. But, of course, we all know what happened on that day last Tuesday. Sir Jim Ratcliffe met with um, Thomas Tuchel. Talks man. It was advanced. It was advanced. That, that's what the Athletic said Sunday. And um, we all know what happened there. Do the deal fell through, so, so so to speak. So yeah, um, so much to get through. Um, I'm just glad this bloody mess is over, done with. I mean, why why didn't um, the Athletic report on this? What a um, couple of weeks back or whatever instead of now? Why is this? What's it called? Hit piece come out now for? But anyway, I, I'm 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 so happy that that Eric Tanag's staying. He he's basically given he's basically given that to the press media who slagged who slagged them off, slated them. Remember the FA Cup final? We just won the FA Cup. Great win. Alan Hansen was it Gary Lineker and Alan Hansen, but well more, more so Alan Hansen more than Gary Lineker. Basically, basically probing Eric Tanag like why did the map so to speak? Swivel on it. Ha <laughs> ha have that Alan Shake, you dick. Dickhead. But yeah, um so happy that, that Eric Tanag staying. Oh was it was it the was it the independent or the athletic said that Eric Tanag will, will ask Man United to to give Benny McCarthy a contract extension and was it I'm sure was it no the Times I think it was the Times and I'm sure the Times also said that um time oh, what did the Times say? Oh Eric, Eric Tanag what what won't 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 accept any New contract when negotiations happen and won't be won't be seen as a what was it, as a lame duck or summer. So yeah, for me, give Eric Tanag a new contract, but he, he, he's re, re, reduce his say in, in the transfers because I don't want I, I don't want any more players from the Eredivisie Divisi, please. I bloody bag no more Eredivisie Eredivisie Divisi players now. I mean, why not sign some players from, from the Bundesliga of or League uh, or La Liga? Mix and match, so, so, so to speak. Yes, I'm Premier League players. I'm all for it, but I want I want to see a mix and match this summer. Sign some Premier League players and sign some pl play, players from Europe. Don't go all in signing players from from the Premier League. It's bore, not boring, but but yeah. Um, I just want to apologise for, for 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 the cost of money in the last couple of weeks regarding this um, managerial situation. I would say I would say it's been stressing stressed me out, but it's been on my mind uh, quite quite a bit, but. Thank bloody God it's over and done. Jesus Christ and a bloody bike. I don't want to experience that again. That was bloody awful. So now we can move on to the transfers. When do I when do I think we'll we'll get our first sign summer signing? God knows. My my guess is good as yours. You never know. We, we Oh, which reminds me, Bill said that that that's that's my strike that I've been quiet about so Hoffenheim striker, Maximilian Bayer, Bayer, 
21 year old it, part, partly he's got a release cost of 27 million pounds which in today's market is, is, is not a bad deal to be fair and a bad price not a bad not a bad price but I, I'll say one thing I'm annoyed that, that this athletic piece has come out but so yeah <coughs> so for me all in all I'm happy So hopefully we, we, we will get a bit transfer business that, that nice and early now. What what I will say is I just if we could get one, maybe two signings before pre start of pre season that would be, that would be excuse me that would be bloody lovely. Right, so you can tweet me money to the fans on Twitter, subscribe to our channel, the guy can't go below that video to get adios.